Hey Trulas, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. Also, I look crazy right now. I know I do. There's two things. One, I just got tanned. Two, I haven't washed off the tan and I'm actually gonna go to a party with my tan on like this because um, the only time that they were able to tan me was at two o'clock and you're supposed to leave a tan for six hours for it to develop. If you wash it before, it won't develop right. So I'm gonna go like this. So I know I look very, 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 very tan. Um, so I need to make sure that my foundation matches the body so that I don't look crazy. Uh, but when I get back, obviously I'm gonna wash this off and it's not gonna be this tan. Anyway, um, so for today's video, we are going to be doing a New Year's Eve look. Shout out to Karen for the inspo. So I'm actually getting ready for a Christmas party and I thought I would do this, uh, film this, this look because um, it can be used for a New Year's Eve look. So, so if you guys wanna watch, then let's go ahead and get started. I already have my moisturizer and my skincare. One of my brows looks crazy, this one. I need to fill this in a little bit more. There you go. I think that looks better. So for foundation, I'm actually going to go in with this Makeup Forever in the color Y365. I'm hoping that this is going to match. I also have another one that's a little bit deeper. It is Y425, so I might mix these um, so that I can match. I was also thinking that when I'm done with my makeup, I'm going to jump in the shower. I know that sounds crazy, but just to wash my body and get rid of the bronzer because it's really just bronzer that's on your body. So I thought about doing that and I know I look naked, but I have my robe on. Okay, so let's get started with our eyes. I'm going to start off with the Tarte Shape Tape for primer. Um, I'm going to use this as my primer and I'm going to keep using, I've been using that brush that I told you guys about, this chubby one, just because it makes my life that much easier and to be honest, I'm running, not that I'm running late, but I want to be ready as quick as possible. Comment down below how long it takes you to get ready. Before, I honestly, I was the 30 minutes out the house kind of girl. Now it takes me, this is not including hair, this is just makeup, about an hour and a half to do my makeup. If I want to do like, you know, if I wanted to look nice and I wanted to look like I actually tried. So I'm going to pop a little bit more of this on, especially because I'm doing a silver. So I want to do a silver eye. I'm wearing this really cute dress from Allery. I will post pictures here. We have this on the website. I'm not sure if it'll still be available by the time this video goes up, but it's called Champagne Girl. And we launched a holiday collection. Honestly, so freaking cute. So cute. I loved everything that was in the collection, Obi, because I picked it out. Um, but everything was so cute. We are almost sold out of most of the stuff, but we still have a couple pieces. And I made sure I told my girls, I'm like, you guys need to pull out a champagne girl for me because I know I'm gonna use that for the party. So I'm going to a Christmas party. We already got our eyes um, primed. So now I'm gonna go in again with the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. And I'm gonna go in with this color, which is called crash and that's going to be my transition color this is actually going to be a fairly easy look look who's facetiming me and she's probably gonna freak out that i'm not even ready hi you're not <laughs> okay so back to filming i'm gonna i think my lighting still looks the same but so i'm gonna go in with the huda in crash and this is actually going to be our transition color so I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to start popping that in the inner, I mean in our crease. If it starts looking a little too pink, I might change it to, I also have the Rustic, the Rustic Glam by Dominique Cosmetics. And I really like this shade here. So I might, if this like starts looking too pink, which it is, I might switch over because I feel like this is, I don't know, like it's, it's, it's the color I want. Whatever, I'll just keep going and see what what happens um but i don't know if i was telling you guys i forgot what i was saying but i am getting ready to go to a christmas party this is actually the only holiday party i am going to um we will be hosting new year's at our house um this year it's always we actually hosted it last year it was so much fun but it was something really small and intimate and it's pretty much gonna be the same thing this year something super small um, you see how it kind of looks a little pinkish? Like it has like a pink undertone. So it's gonna be something small. I'm just gonna get a DJ, have drinks, finger foods, you know, the huge. And my family and some friends will be coming. I do want to hire somebody though to like decorate with balloons, like our backdrop. Last year, my sister helped me. She did a really good job with our backdrop. It was so freaking cute. If I can find some pictures, I'll insert it here. And we literally got everything at the 99 cent store. 
um and it turned out really cute that's why i always say you ain't gonna spend a lot of money to make shit look cute i mean sometimes it's good to invest in certain things do you guys see how it looks kind of pink i'm gonna just finish it off and then i'm gonna go uh in with the other shade but today we're going to oh that's what i was talking to you guys about wow i'm all over the place in this video sorry um i was talking to you guys t talking to you guys about the allery holiday collection um, so I'm going to be using the champagne dress, which champagne girl dress, which I think is such a cute dress. It's really flattering on the body because it's a wrap dress. So it, it honestly looks nice on everybody. All right. I think that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go in with the rustic. I really don't like using multiple palettes when I do eye looks. I just like just sticking to one. But, you know, we're going to go into this one, which is fringe. Oh, that's cute. It's a cute color. I mean, that's a cute name. We're going to tap off and hopefully this kind of cancels out a little bit of, which it's not, but so this, this step might not be necessary. I think if I would have started off with the other one, I don't know. It doesn't look bad. It's kind of actually kind of canceling a little bit of the pink, which is what I want. Um, but that dress is so cute. Um, so I'm going to be wearing that with some silver heels and I thought I would do like a silver eye look that would be perfect for New Year's as well. And this is gonna be actually a really easy eye look. You know me, I like things to be very easy. I'm now gonna go into the Huda palette again. The, oh, what is on my finger? Um, It's feeling warm. I was gonna turn off the heater but the heater is already off so I don't need to do that. Okay, we're gonna go in with uh, Super Moon, which is this silver here. Can you guys see it? Right there. That's silver. I'm going to put that all over my lid. And then on top of that, I'm going to use this uh, like glitter shadow and this liquid shadow in the number three from CoverGirl. I'm going to put that on top just to make it pop even more. Um, I need a flat brush. Okay, we're going to go in with this brush. So now we're going to go in with the Kat Von D. I was going to use one of the colors from the Retrograde palette, but it's not giving me what I want. I'm going to go in the, with this color Glazier, and I'm going to go in with my little brush from the dollar store. I got this at the 99 cent store. So we're going to literally pack this on the lid. Oh, yeah. I really wanted um, like more of an intense silver. If you guys have like silver shadow, use that. I didn't have one. This is like the only one that I have. I think it looks really pretty. I'm going to really pack this onto the lid. And I think it's going to give me what I'm looking for. If you guys have a super pigmented shadow, use that. This is honestly such an easy look. And it's so pretty. Okay, now we're going to go in with the CoverGirl. And I'm going to place this on the lid. And this should add a ton of glitter. Kind of intensify it a little bit. I feel like this doesn't look very glittery. Okay, since um, the CoverGirl didn't give me much, um, I went ahead and added the Artist Couture in Icy Girl, which is this silvery color, which I think looks really pretty. Right now it looks a little crazy because I'm starting to finish the rest of my face. But that is pretty much the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with eyeliner. And I'm just going to be using this one from Milani. And this is the Stay Put Eyeliner in um, Hooked on Espresso. And I'm actually going to put that on my waterline as well. For lashes, we're going to be using the new synthetic plastic uh, or the new synthetic lashes from Batty B in in a plastic. These are my fave. I had to cut them a little bit, but they're perfect. Okay, now we are going to move on to primer. This is the Benefit Blur Hydrate Primer. Okay, so we're going to go in with our Makeup Forever Foundation. I'm going to start off with the Y305. Mix it. I'm going to use this foundation brush. This is the Pro Flawless from Sephora. I'm hoping this shade works. If not, I'm going to go a little bit darker. What do you guys think? I think I need to go darker. A little bit darker. So I'm gonna mix these actually. I need to get one of those like mixing trays. I need it. And if it looks a little too dark, don't worry because I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna put concealer and with the concealer, it kind of balances and brightens things up. Okay, for concealer, we're gonna go in with the Shape Tape and I believe this is light medium. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna apply it with a brush. 
So I was telling you guys that this is actually the only holiday party I'm going to be at, and I'm not mad about it. I think last year I did so much that I was just like, oh my god, I don't know if I could keep doing this. Last year I went to so many holiday events. I went to um, holiday parties. Honestly, it was a lot last year. It was fun for sure, but it was a lot. Uh, and the reason why I didn't go to a lot of holiday events is because a lot of them were in November when I was in Mexico, so... I couldn't go. I was in here. See, now that we added the concealer, looks much better. Okay, now we are going to bake. Bake these under eyes because we do not want to crease. Once we finish baking um, for a bit, I'm going to take this powder off and just kind of bring it down because I want it to set the rest of my face. Boom, boom, boom. And now we're gonna bronze. Oh my God, I feel like I keep sliding off my chair. We're gonna go in with MAC Give Me Sun. That is my favorite bronzer. I promise I try to use other bronzers, but this is my favorite one. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my bronzer a little bit with some powder. What's your guys' favorite bronzer to do like a nor Norse? A nose contour for me it is the benefit hula bronzer that is my favorite and i just do a very very subtle now for highlights i'm gonna go back into this one the ofra one honestly i love this the everglow and i'm going to mix these but this silver one is going to go in my inner corner but for now we're just going to apply the highlight and mixing these we're gonna take the silver one spray it down Pop that in the inner corner. Woo wee! Oh yeah, and I'm gonna blend it into the shadow. Ugh, I hate how that kind of se pasó. But... I am shining like a disco ball. Now we're gonna take off this powder, go over my my highlight because I feel like it's a little too much. Now I'm gonna take some of my setting spray and I'm going to. S oh wait, I need bronze. I mean, I need blush. I'm gonna use my orgasm from Nas. Pop a little bit of this. And our cheekbones. Ahora sí. We're going to set this baby. Here we go. For my lips, I'm going to go in with this Dose of Colors in Escape. This is their lip liner. I'm going to line and fill my lips with this. And it's just like a really pretty nude. really like this color. On top of that, we are going to take this... Uh, Milani lip gloss, if I can find it. Hello, where are you? We're gonna take this Milani gloss in the number 110 Luster Light, and we are ready. Makeup is done. Okay, Michelas, this is the final look. I'm gonna get dressed, and I'll be right back. Woo! Key! Okay, I am back, and guess what I did? I jumped in the shower, and I rinsed off the tan, which is why I don't look so tan anymore. I mean, I still look tan, but it's probably still gonna develop a little bit more. Um, I am supposed to wait six hours. I did the five hours. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. Um, but this is my hair. I do have some extensions. This is the dress. You guys can't really see it. You guys will see it on Instagram. Um, but anyway, I think this is, I think this is a really cute, super easy, um, New Year's makeup to do. It turned out, I really liked it. I, the only thing I didn't like was that it transferred a little bit, but whatever. Um, not everything can be perfect. I love the lip. I love the combo. So, so pretty. So, so easy. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you, Chulas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what are you guys going to be doing for the new year? Are you guys going to stay home? Are you guys going to go party? Are you guys going to get litty? Are you guys going to be chill? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!